Hi Foundation, today we are going to be doing a writing lesson. So I'm going to talk about how you're going to write your prediction of what you thought might happen to Sue Potato when he fell into the freezer. So I'm going to give you some top tips that you can use. Um, and after you've watched this lesson, you can then go away and do the activity. Alternatively, you can pause me in parts and try and have a go along with me. Right. The secret trick to be able to write really well is talking. So if you can talk, you can write. So talking is the key to writing. Now, if you look on the screen here, I've got a boy and a girl talking to each other. Now, when we're talking to each other, we're telling each other our thoughts, our feelings and our ideas. And we know what each other are, are asking, what we're talking about. So this little girl might be saying, oh, what do you think's happening to Sue Potato? And the boy might be saying, oh, I don't know. I think he might kick his way out of the freezer and break the glass. And when you're talking to each other, you know the context. The difference with writing is that your writing goes on a page and the page doesn't talk back to you. So you need to write down exactly what it is that you're talking about. Otherwise, someone would look at your work and go, oh, kick, kick what? It doesn't have any information in it. So you have to write a whole sentence. So let's go to start with the first thing that you need to do, the first thing you need to know, and that is what you think is going to happen. Now, hopefully you thought about this yesterday or if you've read the story this morning and you've got up to that part, you've thought about it already. I'm going to share my ideas and then I'm going to model using my idea so then you can can copy and, and put your idea in using the same techniques. So what's this the end for Sue Potato? Well, I don't think it's the end for Sue Potato because the book's not finished. So I definitely think he's going to escape. Now, I'm looking at what my ideas are. What do I know? I know that Sue Potato, he can fly. I also know he is fast because in the story it said he used his super speed. I'm going to go with fly for my idea. So getting ready. This is the, the bit. This is what I call the donkey work. The bit that makes it really hard is knowing what you want to say. OK, so to be able to write, I need to know what I want to say on my piece of paper. Now I'm going to say my sentence and I'm going to count the words in my prediction. So I think that Sue Potato is going to fly out of the freezer. So I'm going to make my sentence really simple, OK, because I'm trying to imagine that I'm just learning to write now. So I think he will fly out. I'm going to use six words. I think he will fly out. And a technique that can help you when you're writing is to think it like I just did. I thought I'm thinking I'm always going to fly out. Then I'm going to say it, which I've just said, I've said and I've counted the words that I need. Once I've counted the words I need, I can then write it down. And then once I've written it down, I'm going to go back and read it through to check I've got all the words that I said in my sentence and to check that it does make some sense. Warning, this is the bit that can make it really tricky. What happens when you forget what your sentence was in the first place? Because when you're learning to write, you've got to sound out. You've got to remember finger spaces. There's all these things to remember. And then this happens. It just falls out of your head. So this is where the counter trick can really help you. So the counter trick is when you use counters to represent each word in your sentence so that it's really stuck there and it's in front of you visually ready for you to see. So I knew that mine was, I think he will fly out. Six words. So you could use Lego bricks, you could use anything, you could even use forks out of your cutlery drawer. Six things. Now to make it more exciting for Mrs Katungle, I've got some sweeties left over from Christmas. So I'm going to use sweeties today. But on the computer here, I'm going to show you how you could use bricks. So there's my bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm then going to put six sweets down so I know my sentence. One, two, three, four. 
four, five, six. Okay. Now, those counters, put them out. Make sure you've got a counter for each word, but you can't write yet. You have to be able to touch each counter or each brick or whatever object you've used and say what each brick is, what each brick means. So I think he will fly out. So I and I want you to go back and touch your counters or whatever you've used and touch them until you know your sentence really well, because that is your key bit. Then I can write as I write each word. So my first counter was I. So I know tricky word I. I can write that down. Guess what? I'm going to eat my sweet. Yum, yum. So that was my first word. I. What was my second word? I think. So then I'd have to sound out think. And if you've got access to the website, we put a little um, a sound mat up there that you could use. And you could use a tricky word mat too to help you because it's not cheating. So I think is my second word. So I'm going to eat my other sweet. Mm, great. This is a great writing trick. So I think I've eaten two sweets. I've done two words. I think he was my next word. Now, if at this point you go, mm, I'm not sure, I'm going to go through my words and counters again. I think he will fly out. OK, I've got it in my head again now. I think my third word is he. So I'm going to sound out he or have a look because I know it's a tricky word. And guess what? I can eat my next sweet. I think he... Now, I've got three words left. Hmm. I think he will. So will is my next word. So again, I'd have to sound that word out. W, I, U. Check. That's four words. So I should have eaten four sweets. I think he will. Hmm. Two words left. I think he will. Next word is fly. So I would sound out f -l i fly. And again, that counter there helps you to remember that that's the word you're writing. So once I've done that, I can write fly. And I've eaten that fifth word. Now, I've got one sweetie left. And one word left. And I'm going to go back and read my sentence. I think he will fly, and my last word is out. Again, sound it out, have a go. And then you can check you've got all the words that you had in your sentence. I think he will fly out. Now, that counter trick is really good for helping you remember that sentence. But you have to make sure that before you write, you can touch each counter several times and say what each counter is, what each word that counter represents. If someone helps you with your sentence, what happens is you forget what it was because it's somebody else's sentence. So make sure you use those counters to help you. OK, so now this is your challenge. The basic level, the bronze level is telling your grown-up the sentence. You count the words and you use the counters or sweets and put them out on the table or the floor. So make sure you, you've said your sentence, you've counted your words and you've put a counter out for each word. But if you're not quite at the writing stage yet, get your grown-up to write your sentence, cut it up into words or rip it up into words and then muddle them up and then you can reorder it underneath your counters and if you've used sweets as you read each of your words you could eat one of them your silver level so these are most of you now know some sounds and some tricky words and can write so this is a shared writing experience so again the most important thing is the talk 
Say your sentence, count the words, use counters, more sweets, to represent it. Say it over and over again till you know what each counter represents. And then you share the writing. So you may know tricky word I, you could do that. But maybe you're struggling with the word think because we haven't done the diagraph yet, a lot of us. So your grown up might do that word for you. And then you might do the next word. So share the writing between you. The, the main important thing is that you've counted your sentence, you've counted the words in your sentence, and you've used those counters to represent it. And then gold level, so people who are really, really confident, those phase three phonics people, I want you to write your sentence independently. You could even extend it. Let me just move myself up here. You could even extend it by writing why you think he will get out. So back up your idea with some evidence. Remember, you can rewind this video back, okay, you can pause me, and the most important thing is, can you say your sentence, can you count the words, and can you use something to represent your sentence, either blocks, bricks, or in my case, some leftover sweets and Christmas. Good luck. We look forward to seeing what you have achieved up on Tapestry. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you soon.